Chapter 5 The Elves and the Shoemaker Scene 1 Once upon a time, there was an honest shoemaker who was very poor. He worked as hard as he could, but still he could not earn enough to keep himself and his wife happy. There came a day when he had nothing left but one piece of leather, big enough to make just one pair of shoes. I don't know what we are going to do. I have enough leather left to make just one pair of shoes. Will I ever be able to make another pair of shoes? Once I've sold this pair, I shall need all the money to buy food for ourselves. Don't worry, we will think of something. While you cut out the leather to make the shoes, I will make something to eat. The shoemaker cut out and prepared the leather to make the shoes and left them on the work table. By the time he finished his work, he was very tired. My hands hurt. This leather is so hard that I have trouble cutting it. I am getting older every day. And it takes me too long to cut it. Leave it till tomorrow, my dear, and come and have your dinner. I will leave everything on the table. And tomorrow morning, I will finish this pair of shoes. I hope I can sell them soon at a good price so that I can buy some food. Scene 2 The shoemaker and his wife were very tired. After having dinner, they went up to their bedroom. They said their prayers and went to bed. The shoemaker was worried about what would happen the next day. You look tired and worried. What are you thinking about? I hope I am able to sell the pair of shoes soon. I need to buy leather to make more shoes and buy some more food. Don't worry, they will be sold soon. You are a good shoemaker, and the people are happy with the shoes they buy from you. Let us go to bed now, and hope that tomorrow our luck will change. Scene 3 The next morning, the shoemaker and his wife woke up, thinking of the problems they would face. The shoemaker hurriedly dressed and went downstairs to his shop. A pair of shoes lies on the work table. The shoemaker enters and then happens to look at the work table. He is astonished. What's this? Who made these shoes? I just cut out the leather and now they are complete. They are perfect. He calls out to his wife. Come, quick, dear, come and see. What a marvelous thing has happened. What is the matter? Do you remember? That yesterday I had just cut the leather to make the shoes and had left it on the table to complete in the morning? Yes, I remember. Look, look at the table. What do you see? Why, it's a pair of shoes. You finished them really fast. I didn't make them. They were already there when I came into the shop. It's a miracle. They are perfect. You will get a lot of money by selling them. I will keep them in the showcase. The shoemaker kept the shoes in the showcase window and waited for customers. Good morning. I saw those shoes in the showcase. Are they for sale? I would like to try them on. Certainly. Let me get them for you. Here you are. They are the most beautiful pair I have got. Well, my good man, let me try them on. Do they fit you? They are perfect fit. Just my size. I'll take them. How much do they cost? To, 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 sil... No matter. Here are four silver coins. And I must say, your shoes are of very good quality. From now on, I will always buy my shoes from here. Thank you. Here are your shoes. I am leaving now. But I will soon be back with my children. The shoemaker was very happy that he had been able to sell the shoes so quickly and at such a good price. Come here. I have some very good news. I have sold a pair of shoes. That man paid me four silver coins. Good. I told you that everything would be fine. Now, let's go buy more leather for another two pairs of shoes and take this silver coin so that you can buy food for us. The shoemaker and his wife went out to buy what they needed. 
When they came back in the afternoon, the shoemaker started to work again. While I cut the leather for the two pairs of shoes, you can make dinner. It's getting late, and I can't see very well in the dark. I have to hurry. Yes, don't worry. I'll go to the kitchen right away. The shoemaker worked hard to cut out the leather for two pairs of shoes. Soon it grew dark, and he left the pieces on the table, ready to sew them in the morning. Dinner is ready. Come and have your food before it gets cold. Oh, it's late, and I can't see very well in this candlelight. I'll have dinner, and then go to the bed. All right. You look tired. You should have your dinner and rest. Go to bed now. You can finish the shoes. Scene four. The next morning, the shoemaker and his wife went downstairs to the workshop. The shoemaker and his wife rush into the shop and look at the work table. Oh, the shoes are ready! What lovely shoes! I wonder who is doing this. We must find out. For now, I will put these shoes in the showcase and wait for a customer. Sure enough, a few hours later, a young man and woman. Walking by, saw the shoes and entered the shop. Good afternoon. I was passing by and saw those beautiful shoes you have over there. They are just what we are looking for to wear on our wedding day. Can we try them on? Certainly. Uh, let me get them for you. Shoemaker, returning with the shoes. Here you are. I hope you like them. They are so soft. I really like them. They will be a perfect match for my wedding dress. Excellent. I'm glad you like them, dear. Mine are perfect too. We will take them. Name your price. And once again, before the shoemaker could even say the price of the shoes, the young man took out a gold coin and gave it to him. Oh, oh thank you. But uh, let me wrap them for you. Thank you very much. Your shoes are excellent. We will tell all our friends about your shoes. You are so kind. Scene five. Once again, the shoemaker went to buy leather to make more shoes. From that day onwards, the shoemaker only cut the leather and left it on the work table. And by the next morning, the shoes were always finished. This happened for several months. The shoemaker and his wife became richer and richer. I would like to know who makes the shoes. Me too. I would like to know who is helping us. Let us hide in the workshop tonight and see what is happening. Scene six. So instead of going up to bed that night, the shoemaker and his wife hid behind a closet away from the workbench. They sat without making any noise to see who. Or what was making the shoes? The shoemaker and his wife are hiding behind a closet in the workshop. Two elves enter. They start working on the leather. I have finished. Me too. Let's leave now. The elves leave. The shoemaker and his wife are very surprised at what they have seen. They are so small. How do they work so fast and make such beautiful shoes? We must do something for them in return. I will make some warm clothes to thank them. And I will make them new shoes. Scene seven. The shoemaker and his wife made new clothes and shoes and left them on the table that night. They waited until midnight to see what would happen. The shoemaker and his wife are hiding behind the closet. The clothes and shoes for the elves are on the work table. I hear something. Ah, here they come! Be quiet, or you will frighten them. Look, there are beautiful shoes here, and there are beautiful clothes too. Let's try them on. These new clothes and shoes fit perfectly, and they are so warm. I love them. The elves wear clothes and shoes and exit the stage dancing with joy. The elves never came back, but the shoemaker and his wife became rich. And lived happily ever after.